Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Cubing Corner. You are in training set number 9. I call it fish and food. Let me show you why I call it like that. It's very difficult when it comes to remembering all the 57 cases, right? So if you remember in particular shapes which is formed on the top, then I think it would be, it would be great to remember it quicker and the formulas to recall and execute. So what I have done is I have resembled this arrow mark as a fish and which is trying to catch a food. Okay, it might sound silly, but it's good that you can recall it quickly as possible. So I assume that this is a stomach. So this stomach is empty and it's trying to fetch the food. So this is the first case where you have easy pace right down the below of the fish. Okay. So the formula for this goes like this. R U R prime U prime R prime F R R U R prime U prime F prime Let's go to the second case This is very similar to the previous one where fish is trying to catch the food but we had an easy pair over front but whereas in this case we have it over the side now we will place in this way such that EC pair is on top I mean the back side if you do it like this it will be on the top but wherein when you are solving you have to keep it like this so that it will be on the back the algorithm goes like this it's R U R prime U and then hammer that is R prime F R F prime R U2 R prime The next case is the fish having the stomach full and still trying to fetch a food. You keep it in this way where there is no easy pairs around. So the algorithm goes like this R U2 R prime sledgehammer R prime F R F prime then R U2 R prime The last one and the very very simple case is having the fish which is having the stomach full and in search of the food here it has an easy pair in the front as well as on the adjacent side so the, it's it's very easy for identification correct so it just goes with very simple moves that is undo hammer that is f r prime f prime r and let's just solve the white over here u r u prime r prime that is undo magic and that's it you have successfully solved all the cases in training set number nine if you couldn't get any case then definitely go back and try to solve it again still if you have any confusion let me know in the comment section and i'll be happy to help you out guys also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. If you want the notes, then definitely do check out Amazon Kindle. And if you have the subscription over there, it's definitely free to buy it. Thank you and have a nice day, guys.